welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Sunday the 19th of June 2016 and we're providing our gold and silver update for the week ending the 17th of June. Gold rose in US dollar terms last week by $27 from $1,274 to $1,301. Having hit a high of $1,314 and a low of $1,269. In sterling terms, gold rose by 12 pounds, and in euros, it rose by 21 euros. Silver rose by 15 cents, from $17.34 to $17.49, having reached a high of $17.86 and a low of $17.10. In sterling terms, it rose by just one penny, and in euros, it rose by 0.09 euros. The gold to silver ratio rose from 73.4 to 1 to 74.4 to 1. The Dow Jones closed on Friday at 17,675, down 58 points on the day and down 190 points on the week. And the Nasdaq closed at 4,800, down 44 for the day and down 94 points on the week. Brent crude was down $1.37 at $49.17, and light crude was down $1.09 at $47.98. The dollar index stands at 94.20. That's down 0.37 on the week. As stated last week, gold did indeed break the 1300 level and closed the week at 1301.75. Seeing a gain of 2.23% and an annual gain of 22.77%. Gold prices hit a near two year peak this week as investors sought the safe haven commodity on fresh fears Britain would vote to leave the European Union in the referendum due on the 23rd of June. The precious metal whose twin drivers are investment buying and jewellery demand surged Thursday to $1,315.71 an ounce, the highest since August 2014. The commodities soared as new polls showed a rise in support for Brexit ahead of next week's referendum, adding to concerns over the global economic outlook. Silver markets initially rallied during the course of the week but turned right back around just below the $17.90 level. By doing so, we ended up forming a shooting star, which of course is a negative sign. That being the case, if we break down below the bottom of the shooting star, we could drop all the way down to the $16 level. However, silver is still supported by the movement of gold and the value of the dollar, and so the $18 level should not be ruled out quite yet. So what do we make of the current state of affairs? Well, they're actually playing out more or less as expected. The dollar has weakened a little and gold and silver prices have moved ahead. The Brexit referendum is extremely important for their prices in the short term. We can see gold rising a little further prior to the 23rd of June and thereafter will depend on the outcome of the election. So the week ahead will result in some interesting moves in both gold and silver values. However, we should not forget that should the UK vote to stay in the European Union, then certainly in sterling and euro terms we shall see the price of gold and silver fall, and quite likely in dollar terms too. The unsettling of the markets have, in our opinion, added at least 5% to the value of gold and silver. We have not forgotten, however, the poor US employment data and the Fed maintaining rates at the current level. The German bond rate fell below 0% on Tuesday because of Brexit fears, and with US rates unlikely to rise over the next three months, this indeed assists gold prices. We still, however, cannot help but feel that unless Brexit occurs, we may see a corrective price position in both gold and silver downwards. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative, and if so, please give it a thumb up and share it on Twitter. Also, kindly visit our website 
at www.illuminatisilver.com and look at our Facebook page which is updated daily at www.facebook.com forward slash Illuminati Silver. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners. <laughs>